Hello and welcome to another 1967 Spud production. Um, I'm doing a, a product review today as requested through my uh, YouTube channel by Mr. R. Furet. Um hope I pronounced that right but uh, I appreciate the uh, uh, the wanton of the review and I, as I said I'll do where I can. Today we are doing the Lyman DPS3 automatic electronic powder dispenser and scales. As you can see it comes with a case. Um, you get a basic uh, in the kit, you get the actual um, what set of scales and the uh, powder dispenser. You get an electronic cable which will work with any 13 amp plug. Um, if you lift the hatch up here you get there's a hopper at the back with a lid which slots in there like so. Uh, in the in the uh, kit, this is the funnel where it does actually the uh, dispensing of the powder, which I'll show you in a minute too. You get a little brass uh, set of scale, a uh, little brass uh, powder carrier uh, for weighment. You get a calibration scale, uh, check weight. This one is 50 grams, no, it's 20 grams. You get a little, what I call a shepherd's hook for the uh, use when you clean it, and a little brush as well. So they go in there. Um, I'm not going to show you uh, how to calibrate it and that because that'll get that'll take 10 minutes to do that. What I'll actually just show you is the 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 uh, the main functions of the uh, DPS and I'll actually just throw a couple of charges and I'll just show you how to use it on auto charge. So once you've thrown one uh, charge you put the um, container back on and I'll throw one automatically. First of all, we just take this bit rubber bung off here. That stops any powder when you when not in use spilling. Take the hopper off and insert some powder. In this case, I'm using 4831SC, which is what I've got to hand. Just put enough in. I'll leave the main hopper off at the moment so you can actually see what's going on. Um, what they say is when you turn it on, which is there. It takes tw it takes half an hour to warm up. Now the the warming up is not the circuitry or anything. It's um, what it's doing is all the is the the weighing cell inside is calibrating to the ambient temperature, so you don't get any false readings. It's just warming the system up, and uh, every making sure everything come up to an ambient air temperature. So I'm going to forgo that because I've only just turned it off. So we'll leave that. To do that, you just cancel that. Right now you've got the main basic weighing system you can literally type in a powder weight in this case 22 grains hit enter and it will dispense and that will keep going now until that's thrown 22 grains I'll just zoom the camera in so you can actually see the keyboard right there And that's that done. That's gone 22.1. So what I find easier with this is to do like 21.9 and then have a powder trickler and trickle it up. For some reason, it may be because it is a little bit cold. It's a little bit um, error in that. But usually in far right, that's not a good one to start with. I'll turn the beeper on. So now it'll tell you with a beeper 22.0. Enter. That beep simulates, uh, tells you it is now done at 22 grains. Um, there's various units you can measure in. Ounces, grains, that's ounces, and grains. Uh, the Different edit menu. The edit menu is so you can actually pre-program certain scales, uh, skirt, and certain measurement weights. Uh, if you use different calibers, but I just I don't use that to be honest. Uh, recall is so you can actually go through the edit menu. The new menu, new memory is so you can actually put in a new charge weight, forty-three or forty-four, or, you know, fifty-six, whatever, and you can put it into the um, system. Uh, the calibrating zero, that'll be for when you actually calibrate the uh, machine. 
Um, it's good. It's good practice. When you've turned it on, leave it on for half an hour, then calibrate it. So if there's any uh, problems with it, it will should zero itself back out and calibrate itself properly. Right, we'll just throw that so back we'll in. We'll move it. on. I'll now show you the auto uh, throw feature where you can actually it will keep throwing them uh, a, so to save you keep typing in the desired weight. So in this case, I'm going to chuck in twenty grains. Point zero. Hit auto repeat. It showed me twenty. Then I'll hit enter. It should weigh twenty. And then beep, signifying that it's done. It's gone a little bit over. Oh, That's 20 grains. Right. You would then, you know, put that in your case, whatever. And for this case, I'm going to dump it back in there. And then put that back on, and it will now weigh another 20 grains. Now, that will keep going until it runs out of powder. Obviously, the less powder in there, the less powder it picks up in the trickler. So it will take longer. So you have to just keep moving the powder about inside. Um, to keep the funnel full. That's twenty point one that time. So this is why I'm saying it's better to have a little trickler here. Well, I find easy to have a little trickler here, a little, little RCBS trickler, um, and then go like nineteen point eight, and then trickle up them last two point point the last point two of a grain. So, but let's show me if I throw that on, that should go again. And that'll go on forever like that, as long as there's powder in there. So that's 20. Consist it's quite cold outside today, and there's a little bit of a draft here. You, you, you'll, you'll have to be a bit warier. That's why I've got this polystyrene at the back here, to try and stop the draft, because I'm in a drafty old cottage. But the draft can affect it slightly, so just be a bit wary of that. Right, to stop that, just hit that, and that'll cancel it. Other features you can do here, if um, you can do just trickle up yourself, if you hold the fast button in, it'll trickle. Or if you want to trickle just a little bit, it's a lot slower. That is so if you're working up a load, you can actually work up a load. So if you want to go three cases of 33 grains, instead of typing it in, you can trickle it up to whatever yourself you like. Um, some of the keys you'll notice have got letters on there, so when you enter in a, um, a load data into the memory, you can signify it with a load data like 6.5, cal 260 calibre or 243 calibre, whatever. Um, and that's basically about it. I'll do another little video in a minute of actually emptying and cleaning this, because they're a bit of a faff, but um, you get a load of instructions with it, and um, they aren't... They're okay, but they aren't. They aren't sort of. They don't read straightforward. So I'll, I'll do that so you can see what I mean. That's a little bit fiddly, but that's you know. Once you've done it once or twice, that's a piece of piece. Um, is there anything else I need to tell you? No. Um, what I find best practice-wise is, as I say, turn it on. Went before uh, sort of half an hour before I'm intending to use it to let it get warmed up and uh, get reach all the ambient ambient temperatures in the room. Then I'll go ahead and calibrate it using the check weight and the calibration uh, software on there, uh, as described in the manual, and then you're good to go. You can hook these up to the computer using a, either a USB or uh, a SCART lead. I have yet to do that, so I can't really tell you much about that feature. But that's about it, about the Lyman DPS-3.